What's up, everyone? Well, <laughs> boop. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today, we're going to be drawing Iron Man Mark One, the first iteration of the suit. I'm on a landscape page. Use a pencil and eraser. Hit pause if I go too fast. So let's start with the helmet, right? <clears throat> There's all this welding stuff on it. So to begin. Right, so center point of my page is about here. We'll come up and we start with his eyes, right? So we'll do we'll go like straight down right here. And then we'll go up that way. And it goes down again. And then it goes into there. Right? You can do this on the other side as well. So like straight down. Diagonal up, down, and then into there. It's got another layer of that inside, right? So you've got like another box inside here. That, same over here. So, and then just in, inside the eyes is all like colored black. Okay, so dark on the inside, right. So then I guess, so we've got like this big, so it's just like curves down, the big chin, right? So it goes down here and it's kind of like a bumpy sort of shape, but it goes all the way down around. Okay, and then the top section comes across here. Right. And then we go up around the top of the head. Okay, so real rough now. And then this is all welded, so it's got this sort of edge line that goes around it. And the same here. Goes up around top of the head. And at the top here there's like a little clip or something. That's how it, the face sort of opens. So there's like a thing in here. Right, and then his mouth, so the or the holes for the mouth, we can just see like this sort of rectangle. triangles at the side and then you just darken them up inside again all right and then he's got like so it's all roughed up sort of metal right so there's all this kind of dots and scratches and Right, kind of like that. Right, so 
the chest plate where it comes across underneath his chin. Like that, and then it goes down and it dips here and across there. And then it goes across, dips down to there, and then it goes down this way. And then this goes diagonally, and then this will go over the arc reactor, so it'll go like somewhere around this. Like that, and then we go back up towards the other arm there. What we can see of his neck is just like this brown sort of padding, right? So it's all like like that, okay? And then we have clips that open the chest up. Right, so hinges, real old school sort of stuff like that. And there's all welding and bullet holes and all sorts of marks and stuff inside here. So we'll just do that. So we go around the edge first. It's like broken up like this. Kind of like joined together here. This one goes up. On the edge. Like that. And then like bullet holes if you want. here All right like that so then we have the arc reactor inside here so we just do like a circle if you have a cup or a compass or something that'll help you draw circles go for it if not just try your best freehand circle sketch it out okay so it's just a circle in there and then there's like more layers to that inside. Like so, and then here. That's just like all glowy inside, right? Um, and then there's like a stomach plate here. So it just goes underneath the arc reactor. And then up to here. And then it goes down this way. And then this has welding on it as well. Right, and then inside here we have another sort of piece of metal. And then something else coming around there. And then there's like all these clips and stuff. Right, so something coming out of the arc here. Like an edge. 
damage to this stuff coming out of it. There. Then we have a metal plate here. There. Seems to be just like dark in around behind, wherever you can't see metal. It's just black. Okay, so. Seems to be another metal plate here. Welding around the edge. Another one this side. Another chunk taken out of it there. like textures lots lots of little dots and scratches and stuff okay so that's like the main parts of the body armor i think that i could see anyway he's got um so it's like it's his his clothing is just like fabric sort of stuff can't really see any else on that side right so then his shoulders right so we've got like a shoulder pad and this sort of hook thing right here right like that and then his shoulder is out there Inside of that is here, goes on to the next part. Okay, so this is all welding. Then another layer, so it goes down. Like this, joins the bottom of it here. You can see the way the straps go over his arm. So, say like one here. And like another one in here. And then, so then this is like his arm, right? And it's got like all this brown it's like his armpit. And that's just fabric, brown fabric in there. And then the bottom of this, so we've got like a metal plate going that way across this sort of circle hinge, and then more sort of. Scratches and stuff wherever there's metal. And then the bottom of this goes that way. Okay, and we'll kind of do this, maybe a little bit different, but over the other side, right? Kind of turn the way, maybe. Because he's not like totally equal on both sides. So again, we've got this sort of pad on his shoulder. And then this goes over, down, into there. And it goes underneath. It's got an edge. There's a line here. Then we go down again. Just like this arm is turned out a little bit more than this one.
so actually there's actually another piece of metal there as well so anyway um this side so we go down back up there and more plates lots more plates on this side i think this is the flamethrower side is it right like that and then another one here like so okay and this is like all edges the trick with drawing metal and stuff these edge lines are kind of handy just a little trick and you can actually see a circular hinge here There's another strap that comes into his body here. Down here as well. It's a black box. And then there's just like bumpy sort of brown fabric underneath. And that's metal brown sort of fabric just there and then he's got these two little tubes that come off here Right, and then thicken up your edge lines and add textures wherever you want. Okay, I think that's the best I can do. Iron Man Mark 1. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.